up y'all back with another video i'm a minute tutorial in a minute but um just felt like it since i just peeped and i saw they were getting a good amount of views so is the how to make beats for baby Sean and the toddler like detroit type shit so i'll just play it and then i'll break it down <laughs> this over so I can have it on the same place whatever uh, is this an instrument okay this instrument I never used I guess so I started off with some chords from Synology I think it's a e piano yeah, it's called Dino AP in Xenology. It sounds like this. It's just um minor seventh chords. Like a root notes and then this one. Uh, here too. But yeah, I don't think I really did much with the melody. Kinda just wanted to keep it pretty simple. And then there's a soft pad too. I use a lot of the pads from Synology in my beats. And the uh, same chords from the other thing. Yeah, so after that, I had my first like non chord thing. I mean, it is chord still, but. Yeah, that's called Spirit Time and Synology, another e -pena. And it's just the chords, but arpeggiated. And then this one I added an extra note. Yeah, it's just repetitive. Kind of tucked off in the background. And then these are also the chords from the grand piano, but for this one I did some... Um, so called like some different voicing so instead of just having it like this i put them up in octave same with these they're b notes i don't know why my fl studio is like this but for some reason the b note is the h i don't know it's really right that um so yeah it's just the chords voice differently arpeggiated differently just shows how much you can build off some chords so my advice about like all beats just get good at chords once you get good at chords you can build like entire melodies off of just different voicings different sounds arpeggiating stuff like that but this is the sweet times another ep you know so i was really just adding a lot of stuff to fill out the melody I wasn't necessarily trying to add that much variation After that, I added a strings, XV strings, and it's the chords still, except just extra notes, different voicing, stuff like that. Um, sounds like this. It's kind of like a counter melody, but not really, because it doesn't really sound the same as the chords. But. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty similar. I just voice stuff differently. Um, yeah. The next sound is a... Let me see. Jazz guitar. I actually like using jazz guitars as much as I last, so... It's just like a counter melody I built on top of the chords. It's pretty similar to the chords. So. 
there's a variation here, but for these two it just stays the same. And then the other one is just F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C sharp down an octave. And then I kept the C sharp here too. So yeah. After that, I don't know. Oh, I think this is like the harp flute sound. Let me see. Yeah, harp and flute. From this beat is all Xenology, I think. I don't need to say that. Oh no, there's one A3 actually. Alright, but anyway, this is like just a. It's kind of like a piano run, not really. I mean, it is, it's just not a piano. So, yeah, y'all can do this with a grand piano or a flute. I like how flutes sound a lot, so I use them in a lot of my beats, but I also just use. Uh, a lot of grand pianos too, so. To this, I added a choir. Angels sing, and this is actually the top two notes of the chords. Um, yeah, just down an octave. So yeah, it just stays the same. Um, basically, what I did with that was, um, I think this one is the middle notes, let me see. Yeah, so middle notes of the chords, top line, and then bass. So I was kind of building like a type, like basically I built my original chords just out of three different sounds, and I'm also gonna turn off the effects on the bass because just make some money. So this is what the entire melody together sounds like. Sounds like kind of tropical, good for like the, the Tyler type shit is from Florida. Okay, so after that, I was running with some some regular drums, regular Detroit drums. So yeah, the beats had ninety ppm. Uh, yeah, so started off with the clav, or no, a crash in the clav. So the crash, I just kept it simple. Like, And then there's one at the end that just leads back into the beginning. So yeah, uh, for the Babytron beats, I put my crashes like this a lot, just two at the start. And, and this is a good ending for the crash on the Babytron beats too. But the clab just, uh, wait, let me switch the clab. The clab is just like in the pocket between the kick, the snare, and the just between the kick and the snare, so. Or, I didn't use a kick on this beat, but, uh, turn the 808, so, and we'll play this. The snare now. And this is another pattern I like using at the end. It's like, pattern Kyle, by Kyle, he uses a lot of his Babytron beats. Snare pattern. By the way, all these drum sounds are from my kit, as you can see, the will be nice. Uh, so if y'all want that, just let me know. It's not out yet, but I mean, just let me know if y'all want me to release it. I'll still sell it to y'all though. Um, yeah. I need to release it, bro, because I get kit sales sometimes, but people don't even know I have one, so. Alright, anyways, this is, a, this is a good pattern for the Detroit shit. You just put the two step hi hats, but on the Tron shit specifically, I like starting off a little bit faster. Kind of just gives some like, and just makes the beat sound a little bit faster. Like, gives it like a boost at the startup, kind of, or at the start, I guess. It's just a cool pattern, especially with the double crash. And I'm bringing the 808s. regular spins except I boosted it and turned up the out so regularly spins are just like this except I turned the boost up um, 
obviously. Like, damn near like two or three of them. Yeah, two percent probably. Turn that out since uh like flint beats would have uh I know it's like this probably. But um since I was making some Detroit beat I didn't or since I was making a Detroit beat I don't, didn't want to make it too much like that. But yeah, I was also going for some low Tyler shit and he opts on like flint beats, so kind of just compromise with the 808. It's also max velocity, and it just follows their notes. So yeah, for these type beats, just get like a simple drum bounce room, two step hi-hat, and like a boosted spins. Uh, for the mixing, I actually did not do a single thing. Wow. Okay, all I did was level, and then on the master, I put a fresh air. This shows uh, you, don't, you don't need to mix that much, but yeah. I mean, unless y'all think it sounds bad, then it does show, I guess. But for me, I don't mix like that. I do sometimes, like, it's mostly presets, though. Like, I have presets that I'll put on shit. My mixer presets, like, grand piano. I use this one a lot, but... Anyways, yeah, that's it for the tutorial down there, because I didn't, I didn't even put shit, uh, I didn't even do shit with the mix, but, uh, yeah, the last thing I did was just add my tag and arrange it. Um, what I do for my arrangement is I start off with the intro, obviously, and then I do the build-up right here. put breaks in it like right here right here too another break it's just like the other side so yeah as y'all can tell it makes this pretty repetitive and then I also use I also use the intro for the outro Intro for the outro, build up, same thing as the build up. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Let me know if you want more in this style or if you want some more live cookups. I'll probably drop some more live cookups and go live. So, yeah. Uh, but thank you all for watching.